What's up, amigos? It's the Prodigy Maker Minute with Chris Lewitt. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. I want to talk briefly about Maxime Cressy. He's got a really cool game. He's one of the only servant volleyers, could be the only pure servant volleyer in the top 100. And I watched him play some matches recently on Tennis Channel, and He's got such a cool game. It's like a, like a throwback. It's the way I used to play in juniors and college. So it brings back the memories. But it also brings back a lot of anxiety for me having to always rush the net, always feel the pressure of the passing shot and of the return serve. And I think you see Cressy throwing in a lot of double faults. And I think that he's kind of underachieving. I, I don't really agree with the way he's being coached, to be honest. If, if I had a player of that... Um, ability with a you know he's a big guy he's six six or or so and they got a really powerful serve i don't like the strategy of the, the taking the highest risk strategy of serve and volley both serves relentlessly not really using the i haven't seen him using the kick serve that much he goes really big on both serves and i think that i just think it's a it's kind of tactically foolish. And from a Spanish point of view, it's kind of tactically foolish. It would be much better if he developed a little better uh, all around game, you know, have a little bit more uh, better movement and consistency from the baseline, maybe use the big forehand more, and then like mix up the approaches to the net so that when he does choose to serve in volley and when he does come to net, he's going to be more effective, you know, rather than just showing the same patterns over and over and over again that are very predictable you know big serve coming in be nice to see the big serve forehand big serve delayed approach shot big serve serve and volley you know then it, it to me that's a much better way tactically to play it provides a different look to the opponent it takes a little bit of stress off your back because if you don't hit that serve pinpoint you can still construct a point you know it may be you can still grind the point out. You can still use uh, your big forehand. It, it just gives you, a, you don't have to always uh, thread the needle with the serve and volley play because the serve and volley is like the most high risk tactic because if you don't hit the serve perfect, if you don't get into position just right, you you get passed you, and you leave openings You know what to get passed and you can lose points very quickly like that. It's very high stress. If you serve and 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 just sort of, uh, camp out in the, the midcourt area, look for an approach. If the opponent hits a great return, they don't have as much of a target. If they don't hit, if they do try to hit a great return, you still have a chance to like stay in the point. It's not like completely over. Whereas when you serve in volley, if it's not perfectly played, points over immediately. That to me is like why serve in volley is so dangerous. And Cressy's playing that super dangerous game. He's doing very well, but I just think in today's modern game, the way people return, the way the technology is, it's just, you know, it's it's much smarter to have a more complete game. I wish he had a more complete game. What do you guys think? Am I way off? Uh, it's crazy that he might, he, he could stay back a little bit and maybe, maybe grind the point, hit a big forehand or delayed approach. You think that's nuts? I don't know, guys. I don't, when I watch him play, I, I'm fascinated and I also cringe a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. Throw it into the comments section. If you like this Project Maker Minute, please check out my big show, The Project Maker Show. We've got like 69 episodes, really good in-depth in depth, uh, com conversation, in-depth analysis of junior tennis, uh, technical development, and Spanish tennis. Check out a lot of the past shows because I think some of them are really good. Some of them, there's, there's a lot of gems in there. And I'll try to like post more of those so people can get access to the old uh shows that we've done maybe i can um i can upload some shorter clips so they're more manage manageable like more in bite-sized chunks because the shows are usually close to an hour long and maybe that'll help you guys uh, assimilate some of that uh, and also please consider subscribing we're about to hit 3,000 subs which is like awesome guys i'm really pumped and if you wouldn't mind uh helping us grow this community the more subs we have the more the YouTube algorithm helps to promote the, the channel and it brings in more intelligent viewers and, and 
makes for a more robust community, which is cool. Thank you guys. I'll see you on the next program.